Welcome to our channel. We have an exciting new guest for you. This is Dr. Joel Kahn, and now you're speaking to thousands of 13 to 24 year old females that subscribe to the Mr. Oh and Mrs. God. Vegan channel. <laughs> Wait, this is harder than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> and we have a question for all of us is, why should you care? Well, number one, I have a 13 to 24 year old female in the family. Jessica, shout out to you in New York City. Jessica. Why should you care? Because thump, 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 100,000 times a day, you got a heart that's beating. Treat it well now, it'll treat you well the rest of your life and you'll look better if you follow this eating plan. I'll tell you about that. I've been doing it 40 years. Your skin will glow, the guys will notice, the gals will notice. Hang in there, don't turn this off. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so now you gotta hang in to get all those glowing results. Dr. Kant is one of the leading cardiologists in the world, but he's got some serious vegan street credit. Why don't you tell him about that, Kristen? Well, he owns Green Space, and that's an all-vegan restaurant in Michigan. Mm -hmm. Got it. And it has an oil-free menu. Big oil-free menu. <laughs> and lots of starches that are healthy and wonderful. So that's a destination-worthy location in our opinion. I want to go there and eat off yeah. the oil-free menu, try everything. <laughs> Around this time of year, you've worked in the ER before. Yes. What happens when people, when mom and dad out there, grandma and grandpa are eating the standard American diet, what happens during the holidays? Yeah, these big, rich, creamy meals, that, and they're full of salt, and they're full of fat, and they're just truly, if you've never seen it, if you take your blood when, before you eat, it's crystal clear if we spin it down. It really looks like motor oil. You eat a big, fat, creamy holiday meal that everybody's gonna be doing for the next few weeks, and it, it, about an hour, 30 minutes after that, your blood looks like whipped cream, and it's really like sludge. It really moves slow through your arteries. Now, you guys are young and all that, it, you know, it'll catch up. It catches up with your parents, grandparents, warn them, aunts and uncles. So it's really a bad deal and your blood sticks together. And there are people around the holidays kind of depressed or stressed, they're rushing around. You put this like creamy, fatty blood in their arteries, it doesn't always work out so well. There's a spike in heart attacks right around Christmas every darn year when I've been in the emergency room. You just see them coming in and coming in and uh, have that big ham, turkey, you know, buttery mashed potato, the arteries are not feeling so good. So take a look at what we're eating instead. We have these tostada bowls from a restaurant down the street. We didn't even make these. We went and got carry out for this. What's in this, Kristen? Cabbage, carrots, lettuce, beans, rice, a little avocado, some tomatoes, and an oil-free dressing, a cilantro lime dressing. It looks amazing. Look at this oil-free cilantro lime dressing. You can make this at home. We'll put the recipe in the info. And the cool thing, it looks creamy but it's oil free and you know, it's, that's the kind of stuff we do in my restaurant and you're giving up nothing, you're just getting. I mean, think what you're getting here. Every color under the rainbow, I love it. And this is inexpensive food, you can get it all frozen. It literally costs pennies a meal to eat this way. As the holiday season approaches, we want you to give the best gift you could possibly give and that's knowledge. Don't let your families commit fork and knife suicide and please, educate, don't let anyone medicate. <laughs> I love that. And <laughs> it it's so true. My name is Joel. It rhymes with Noel. Holiday season. I mean, really bring in the holiday cheer. What could be more colorful? This looks like a wreath you put on your door, but it's actually going to put it, you know, a healthy one inside your body. It really, I told you what happens around the holidays with the fatty foods and the ham and the turkey and the buttery mashed potatoes. It's the exact opposite that happens inside your body. You know, minutes to an hour after eating food like this, your body's just rushing in with fiber and vitamin C, and we can say all the fancy names. It's just good stuff. Fill your body with good stuff. Eat the food that you love, and the food that you love will love you back if you pick the right choices. This is good stuff. So what does the inside of an artery look like that's had this fatty buildup over the years? Yeah, and you know, over the years, because of the wonderful audience we're talking to right now, there's lots of data that by age five, 15% of American kids are obese or overweight. By age five, that's a really bad number. But let's talk about in Louisiana, they've been doing studies on kids 10, 12, 13, 14. You can pick up already a little bit of like a sugar coating and cholesterol coating in their arteries. You're starting to have the problem when mom and dad are talking cheese, turkey, mashed potatoes with butter and the whole thing. So arteries are, you know, they're a pipe. 50,000, you guys know around the world is about 25,000 miles. We have 50,000 miles of arteries in our body. They're pipes and they will just slowly get a layer 
of, you know, of first the ham, then the bacon, then the turkey, then the butter, then the cheese, even the sugar will contribute. You want to be really careful. It doesn't need to happen. It's all preventable. So Stop hurting yourself. When you've done heart surgery and cut oh. in, you've actually seen this goo on the... Sure, absolutely. You can actually, in my field, you can actually go in there and, and take it out without doing a full operation during what's called catheterization. It does look exactly like butter, exactly like Jarlsberg cheese, like cheddar cheese has the same consistency, and it, it's coming from the cheese. I mean, it's coming from, you know, as you know, only animal foods have cholesterol, and animal foods have the highest saturated fat of any other food choice. So when you get that out, the cheese and uh, the animal products out, all of a sudden your arteries don't get layer by layer by layer of clogged up, and you, you're better, your skin's better too. I wanna to talk about why your skin's better, but it's true. What's the youngest person you've ever treated for heart disease? Well, it's crazy, but about 10 years old, very rare, but when I was training a while back in Dallas, Texas, some people have a genetic problem where their mm -hmm. cholesterol is crazy, and it'll respond to a healthy diet like right here in our bowl. They may need more than that, so there are some young people that get into trouble even that early, but otherwise, I've seen a 16-year-old, let's say, 21, 22 and on, if they've got uh, food-induced diabetes, food-induced blood pressure problems. I just said by age 22, a quarter of American, I guess they're not kids anymore, young adults, are either overweight or obese, a quarter of them all. So they can come in with heart disease. Wow, so strokes, everybody. Strokes have gone up 30 to 40% in children in the last 10 oh years. Oh my strokes. God. Strokes, it's because crazy blood pressure from crazy food. So the question to you guys, do you care now? Let's take, let's take a look at our audience. So we have a little bit of our audience here and we wanna know, do you care? Well, I mean, it sounds pretty gross to have cheese building up inside of your body, so. Yeah, I don't really care. I'm really glad that I'm vegan. I wish I would've gone vegan sooner because I just remember that when I was younger and growing up, I used to eat so much of the stuff that oh, you're yeah. talking about. Oh my gosh, so I used to be a much. cheese -itarian, so. And look at how nice their skin looks. <laughs> Woo, the girls are glowing. Thank you. Kristen's pregnant here, and the question we get from so many pregnant moms. There's four bodies, of us here. Yeah, there's <laughs> four of us here. Is when do you have to start eating healthy? Yeah, actually, you want to plan for getting pregnant, if you can plan for getting pregnant, you know, months to years before that happens, because diet will determine not just your own health, it does. It's the biggest single thing in your whole life. 80,000 meals during your life, every single one that you decide on is a vote for health, or maybe a vote towards not health. Not to scare you, but it's really true. But if you're thinking about getting pregnant, or down the road you plan to have a family, it's really critical to like prep your body for that, so that your child comes out the healthiest. And, Mother obesity, uh, a large overweight mom is the single biggest factor in a child becoming obese or even developing blood pressure and heart disease 20 years later, 25 years later. So getting, you know, there's nothing bad with being a little round or a little chunky. This is medicine, getting your body in a better shape before pregnancy by eating plant-based, weight-controlled oil, no oil foods is an incredibly good pre-pregnancy strategy. And we've got you covered. We've got so many What I Eat in a Days and so many videos on how to eat healthy. I'll link them all on the screen here and you can get started immediately. Aside from food, what's the second most important thing to do for your heart? Um, actually move. Um, <laughs> you know, move your body. You know, get up, get around. You've got computers, you get on your iPads and your phones nonstop. You can do some of that stuff standing, even fidgeting. Your mom, your dad, your... Teachers, your uh, friends are going to tell you stop shaking your leg, moving around. You can see me doing a little bit right now. Fidgeting actually burns a few calories. Standing burns a few calories. Of course, walk, move, get to the gym, do soul cycle, flywheel, whatever you like. Have you ever but, heard of a car with pedals in it? Uh, a twike? <laughs> <laughs> I've heard of a twike. I, I kind of noticed one out there, but I uh, haven't actually had the experience yet. Well, we're going to take Dr. Khan for a ride in the pedal car. While you guys... Helmet! I need a helmet! <laughs> <laughs> While you guys binge watch some healthy eating videos, thank you so much for coming along. We're awesome. gonna eat this wonderful awesome. food. I hope you guys are enjoying plant-based meals with us. And get over to Green Space Cafe in Ferndale, Michigan and munch on some healthy foods. And don't forget to share this with all your family members this Please. Christmas. Please, share it on Tell Facebook. Tell them the heart doctor's in the house, okay? Yes. We brought Dr. Spock we can't bring anymore. <laughs> Thank God you can Dr. still bring Khan. Dr. Khan, okay? <laughs> If you know someone with heart disease, please give this video a thumbs up and share this video with all your family and friends this holiday season and educate.
Be that annoying guy on Facebook. Share it right now. <laughs> Please, Poopy's medicine. <laughs>